can find the tool you want to use, then you definitely don't want to skip this video. Getting familiar with the workspace in Adobe Illustrator is super super important before you do any design um, since you know where to find the tools and you know what tool you want to use and you can also organize the toolbars, organize the working panels, open the working panels, close them, a lot of things. So in this video, I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about the workspace in Adobe Illustrator. If you don't know me already, I'm Jim from Illustrator How, and today I'll be your guide to explore the workspace in Adobe Illustrator. So once you create a new document, this is a working space that you will see. Depending on the color background that you choose, you might see a lighter gray, a darker gray, or exactly the same as what I have. But if you don't feel comfortable with this um, working space, you can change the background color from the overhead menu, Adobe Illustrator. Go to Settings, General, User Interface, and here you can choose a dark interface, medium light or light well i still feel more comfortable with what i have so i'm just going to keep this setting so on the left side of your working space you'll find the toolbar where you can choose all the essential tools to create your artwork and this is what an advanced toolbar look like if you don't want to get overwhelmed with the tools you can go ahead and go to the overhead menu window toolbars and switch the toolbar to basic and as you can see, it shows like a simpler toolbar option. And if you can find any tools, you can go to the bottom, edit toolbar, and choose the tool you want to use and drag it to the toolbar. I always recommend using the advanced toolbar since it's easier to locate the tools, but yeah, it's your own preference. Beside the toolbar, you can also see some of the editing option on top of your working space. And this is called the control panel. The control panel doesn't show the same option every time. Depending on the object or text that you select, the attributes will change. For example, right now it shows no selection. And here are the default settings. And if you create a shape, as you can see, the object type changed to rectangle and you can edit its color, stroke, brush definition, which is the border, like how you want it to be, and opacity of the object and any of the object options that you can choose. And you can see the same options on the op properties panel. Well, with a couple of more quick actions here. The properties panel actually works similarly as the control panel. It also changes the options based on the object type. So for example, let's duplicate the shape. So if you select both shape, as you can see in the properties panel, you have the align option. If you want to align the object, you can simply click horizontal align center, horizontal align left, or any of the align option that you want. So as I mentioned before, you don't necessarily have to open all the panels that you want to work with. For example, if you want to simply cut out a shape, you don't necessarily have to open the Pathfinder window. You can find here. It does show more options, but if you click on the more options, it shows exactly the same option as the Pathfinder panel. And this trick works for most of the other panels, same as the align. If you click on more options, it will show the full menu of the align panel. That's why I said that you don't necessarily have to open up the panel of the feature or tools. If you are really just trying to create a very basic effect, besides the toolbars and panels, you can also choose effect from the overhead menu. For example, the edit menu, there are many options to edit color since no object is selected. So a lot of the options are grayed out. Here's where you can apply effect or find some tools besides the toolbar and the panels. And if you go to object, here is where you can edit the path, shape, envelope distort, which you will be using a lot if you want to work with distorts text or shape. And here's the effect menu, which you might be using a lot as well. Well, I'm sure you'll be using a lot as well. Moving on, I'm going to show you how to organize your panel if you have a lot of panel open up. 
You can open any of the working panel from window and choose the panel you want to work with. For example, if you want to choose a new brush, create a new brush, you will most likely open the brushes panel. And as you can see, once you open a panel, it just randomly pop up and not organized. I'm going to open up a few more, let's say image trays. Yeah, so as you can see, it just randomly pop up and you might have to organize it yourself if you get overwhelmed with it. And I always like to organize a panel so that it doesn't look overwhelmed. And I like to organize them by categories. So for example, gradient and swatches, I would usually put them together. So I'm just going to click on the gradient and drag it next to the swatches. So as you can see now, they're in the same panel and it doesn't just pop up random windows and you can drag the rest to group them together. And you can also attach the panels together. As you can see now, there are two separate panels, but if you want, you can also click and attach it and you can see a blue line and just release the mouse, you will see a full panel. And if you want to exit any of this, simply drag it out and click at the exit button. Yeah, so that's how it works. If you don't want to use any of the panels, simply click exit to close it up. And if you need to use it again, just bring it out again so that it doesn't really get overwhelmed on your workspace. So it's a lot of information. Hope you already know how to organize your workspace in Adobe Illustrator. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. If you want to learn more about Adobe Illustrator Basics, I do have a beginner's course that can help you get started even faster using Adobe Illustrator and become a designer pro in just 30 days.